Hi, I'm Tyson Hugie. John Norman, good to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. There's the ILX. There it is. Let's uh, take a look. All right. Well, John, right away, I, I feel right at home, you know, having been in an Acura for the last 10 years or so. What kind of techniques does your team use to make sure that, you know, for a small car that it still feels pretty big inside? We've been pursuing an interior theme called dual personal structure for the last series of vehicles. So you can kind of see that, how there's a scoop shape here and a scoop shape here. And that scoop shape carries over into the door panel. So you get the sense that there's like this big zone and what that does, it gives you the impression that the space, that the surfaces are going away from you. Even in a small car like this, it gives you the sense that the space is bigger right, than it actually is. How is it that you go about initially getting a feel for placement of the designs and controls? At Act, we have a lot of experience in terms of where to lay out uh, our center panels, our shifters, our steering wheels, our, our meters, in particular to make our customers feel at home and feel natural inside the vehicle. That's right. what we really strive for. How does your team go about making sure the driver has that great visibility all the way around them? We struggle with the exterior designers. You know, they always want to make this beautiful sporty shape with a high belt line and very squashed roof, right? Which looks great, but maybe when you're in the car, you can't see out, and that's a problem. So we try to find a balance. What is the best balance between the combination of good exterior styling and also being able to see outside the vehicle and pilot your vehicle in a comfortable and a safe manner. What kind of um, inspiration do you use in terms of creating textures? How do you make the distinction between going with the various different um, finishes? So in particular on a wheel is one of our most critical control points. So we have to be very sensitive, very thoughtful about what sort of different finishes, whether they're glossy or rough or smooth. Right. So the, the main thing we try to do is make sure that the wheel is usable and functional so that you can get a nice solid grip on the wheel. Now in particular on this one we went to more of a smooth leather because we feel that it that's a much more upscale, much more premium feeling than the rough. Also we, we've gone to much more of a low profile, mm -hmm. more sophisticated stitching on the wheel so that you can feel that it's there but it's not intrusive, right? Well, John, thanks for giving me an inside look at the ILX. Thank you very much, Tyson. Yeah, we worked really hard to make these interiors appeal to our customers, and we, we think it's going to do well. Right.